Hello all, myself Vishal Tate and I am going to cover the course Design of Electrical Machines using AutoCAD. The purpose of this course uh, to understand what is AutoCAD and what is the application of this AutoCAD in electrical machines de uh, design. Now, uh, what are the content of this course? Uh, it is divided into two parts. The part A, it is nothing but the basic of basics of AutoCAD in which I am going to cover different instructions like uh, how to draw the line, how to draw the rectangle circles, how to make a block and uh, there are different types of modify instructions in which how to copy the object, move, trim, how to make a mirror image and uh, uh, with this uh, there are different commands like how to use uh, layers, what is the application of these layers in uh, and uh, machine designing then uh, how to select the properties of different objects, how to make block. So these are the uh, basic things which I am going to cover in basics of AutoCAD. And the part B will be design of electrical machines using AutoCAD in which uh, there are different practicals like design and assembly of or, or transform with design report, details and layout of single layer three phase winding with design reports and details and layout of double layer three phase winding with design reports. So these practicals I'm going to cover like uh, first uh, I will cover the numericals and based on that uh, designs we are going to cover and uh, create uh, these drawings in AutoCAD software. So uh, let us move further with the first session that is nothing but the basics of AutoCAD. Uh, those instructions which are helpful to draw the uh, diagram that only we are going to see in this session. So let us see. Uh, this is AutoCAD uh, 2007. So first we have to set the drawing uh, some parameter because uh, let us say suppose I, we have to draw the winding diagram. All the units in uh, the diagram all are in mm. So first uh, we have to set the units then we have to set the dimension. But before that we will save the drawing. So how to save it? Uh, let us say suppose this one is new. Click on file new. Take this ACAD name plot style and click on open so you will get this drawing uh, save uh, this drawing by using this icon i will save it as session one give the path as per your requirement Now, once you save the drawing, then click on format and then click on units. Now, in case of unit, uh, all the uh, dimensions, those were, uh, which uh, we are going to give, all are in decimal. If uh, we are, suppose we are to draw some plan on this, let us say, complex building, uh, then it will be architectural engineering fractional scientific so these are the options but uh, in our case we require all the dimension in decimal so i will keep it as a decimal precision uh, means whenever we are giving the dimensions uh, how much uh, digits uh, should be there uh, after decimal accordingly we have to select the precision so in our case we require 0, 0.00 means up to two digit we require the number so i'm just selecting it as a uh, 0.00 now uh, next is unit to scale uh, as i said all the dimensions uh, in our case it is in millimeter so i will select it as millimeter remaining things i will keep it as it is and click on ok so there are some shortcuts uh, by which we can have this unit uh, window like click units and just you will get this window and you may do the different changes so once you have uh, changed or set the units. Uh, second uh, thing is we have to set the dimensions. Uh, but before that, uh, let us see what will happen if we are not going to change the dimensions. So let us say, suppose I am going to draw one line. Now that line is uh, having length of 50 mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, in this case, uh, it is very difficult to. Uh, just observe whether uh, this this one is line or this one is line. Okay, uh, 
you may uh, miss the the dimensions the dimension text it is not also it is also not visible and you may observe here there are four digit after the uh, decimal point again this arrow is not properly visible so it is very difficult to identify and uh, observe the dimensions so we have to set the dimension style so click on dimension and here dimension style is that okay click here again after the pop up of this window just click on modify and here there are different options like line symbols and arrow text fit primary units alternate units and tolerances so let us see one by one a line so there are two types of lines one is a dimension line and second is a extension line so uh, this one is the line, dimension line these are the dimension line and uh, this one is the extension line so we will change the color of dimension as well as the extension line you may choose any color uh, as per your requirement i will just select uh, it as a yellow okay and for extension line also i will select it as a yellow so you may also here uh, it is set to yellow okay after that i think uh, there is no need to change any other parameter but uh, i will tell you that uh, these are the two boxes uh, after on, after clicking on these boxes uh, this dimension lines it will get disappear okay but we require it that's why i am not going to uh, change it the second option is symbols and arrow so i want this arrow should be in cross field so i will not going to change uh, this but i will definitely change the sim uh, arrow size i will make it as 2.5 mm after that text so text uh, i think it is too much uh, I will make as 0.5. Let's check. Yeah, 0.5 is enough. Then text. In case of text, I will just change the uh, color as yellow and the text height as 2 or 2.5. You can maintain. After that, primary unit. So, in case of primary unit. It should be in decimal and precision should be 0.00. .00. So this is enough uh, for uh, uh, this drawing that <coughs> click on OK and set current. So you may observe here the changes. The color of dimension as well as extension line is changed. 